home chefs often have their hands full oh, during the holiday oh. season, making sure that their main dishes turn out perfectly, but it's important not to let those desserts take a back seat. Here in our Studio 41 kitchen with some holiday dessert tips and common mistakes to avoid is head pastry chef of Scott Harris Hospitality, Erin Mooney. Thank you so much for being here, Erin. Thank you for having me. The spread looks so good. Mm, Thank you. I mean, we've got some of the traditional stuff, something a little bit different. Let's start off with the pumpkin pie because it's going to be on a lot of menus coming up here in the next month or so. Yeah, so a lot of people are going to be making pumpkin pies at home. Um, What's the most common mistake you see? I think it's over baking. Okay. Mm. People are afraid that it's, they see a little jiggle in the middle, yeah. a little looseness, and they think it's over, they think it's under baked, so they're oh. going to bake it longer. So you want to shake your pie in the oven, obviously with an oven mitt on, shake mm -hmm. your pie in the oven, you want to see a little bit of a jiggle, okay. because it will set more as it rests, as really? it cools, Ooh. and then you'll have that creamy interior. Okay, because really what you're only trying to cook, make sure it's cooked, is the egg that you put into it, right? Or do you put yeah. egg in pumpkin? Yeah, you do, you do, and it will, it will, uh, be set once it cools. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. We, so we were asking about apple pie now. Or is apple. there more to learn about the pumpkin that we need? Um, the, the only thing I would say is keep the spice to a minimum. Okay. You want that pumpkin flavor to shine. Okay. Okay. We all good. love our pumpkin spice, but yes, we do. <laughs> yes. We want that pumpkin flavor to come through. All right. With the apple, I would have thought because I had a friend who basically takes her apples, dumps them into the pie pan, and then puts all of her ingredients on top, and then she bakes it. But I would have thought it would have been a situation where you should probably mix them up and marinate them. How do you suggest? Yeah, we mix, you should mix up your apples with your sugar and spices and usually a little cornstarch or a thickening agent um, so that's like evenly combined, put it in the pie shell. Now, the opposite of the pumpkin pie, the apple pie, you want it to bake a long, long. longer time. Yeah. You want that golden crust. Apple pie is all about texture. Mm -hmm. So um, to achieve that texture, I like to use different kinds of apples. Mm. Uh, we have Golden Delicious, Gala apples, Pink Lady apples. They all bake a little bit differently. Yeah. Um, also, when I cut them, some of them I cut into cubes. Oh. And some of them I will cut just by slicing. Well, and I see and you it, also have a you have a, a, a melon baller there too. What's that? Yeah, for? that is a great tip for coring your apple. Ah, so you get yeah. the least amount of you lose the least amount of apple, and you just use the oh. melon baller just to get that little core out and the little bit of. So how do you determine which apple to use? Is that obviously the taste you're trying to get? If you're trying to get a it's more... It's taste and texture. Some apples will soften more during baking. Okay. And some apples will stay firm. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's all about texture. Okay. It's, yeah. um, you want, like, some of the apples will get all, like, soft and gooey, and some of them will stay firm. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that is also why I like to cube some, slice some, I choose something. different apples. I see you brought some dough for us too. What are your tips on the dough? Um, roll it out. Yeah. And again, it's really the most important thing is baking it for a long time so that crust gets really caramelized, crispy, so you have that gooey middle. Um, I like to top my apple pies with a crumble topping. Oh, Ooh. I do too. That's so good. again, more mm -hmm. texture. You get the little crunchy bits on top, the mm -hmm. little brown sugary goodness. Okay. Yeah. And there's also some other desserts yeah, that you brought here. Talk about those. Yeah, so at Fiore in Forest Park, we have a brand new market that opened and we are offering all sorts of fall um, delicious treats. Uh, we have brown butter bourbon pecan Ooh. bars. Mm. And we actually take that same filling and make a pie with it. Okay. Oh, so yeah, we are going to be good. offering our apple pie. We are going to have these bars, and we're also going to have those a similar thing where it's a pie form. Mm -hmm. And then these are ginger sandwich cookies. Can I try one of those? Yeah, absolutely. Here, Let's count one up. Yeah. They have a lemon buttercream filling. Ooh, right up your alley. It kind of offsets the spice of the ginger. It kind of brings this brightness to that spice. Let me ask you this, because a lot of people that I know, when they're preparing their holiday meals, they may cook their desserts a day or two in advance. Is that a good idea, or should you cook the other part of the meal in advance? Um, it's not a bad idea. The flavors in the apple pie will like it'll just make it better. It'll make it yeah. like just because it pop all more yeah, yeah. and merry more. Yeah, um, but it won't yeah. spoil. In other words, though. No, 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 no. And then that'll give you a chance to focus more on you know the day of things. Okay. The bird. You know you obviously have to make that 
Or potatoes. they could just These go to... so good. Are they? Mm -hmm. Or you can obviously just go to Fiori, right? And then not yeah. even yeah, have the, to worry about it. The greatest tip of all, have have us make it for you. Nope. We have, <laughs> truly, like we will have all of these available in our market on Thanksgiving Day for you to pick up. We have Thanksgiving packages with turkey, green bean casserole, and then you can come and get pick your dessert. any desserts you want. We have oh my uh, gosh, it's good. candy apple danishes. Ooh, that, that is wonderful. So good. Thank yeah. you so All right, Erin, thank you for coming in. The thank information you. for Scott Harris Hospitality is there on your screen. Fiori as well, over on Madison in Forest Park. So check out their website and their social media handles for more. Thank you. Thank you.